maybe on this one we might find some agreement. Uh, Constantine, this, uh, once again, this issue of trans athletes competing in women's sport has reared a very ugly head in terms of what happened in Illinois in a cycling competition, a women's cycling race, where the gold and silver medals were won by two biological males identifying as trans women. Now, this is the latest in a long series of these farcical results in women's sport, which are clearly eroding the fairness and equality and integrity of women's sport. And my question is simply, why are we still allowing this to happen? Why, why A, are official sports bodies not just banning it completely when there's such an obvious disadvantage to women born with fe female biological bodies? But secondly, um, why aren't more women standing up? Is it because the ones who do get, com get crucified at the altar of trans activism? Well, I hear Ava touching next to me, so I'm fearful of what I'm about to say. But look, first of all, on the trans women in, in, in women's sports thing, I, we're all looking for the next... Ho I don't know what to say. I mean, it is so obvious. We have had Richard Dawkins on trigonometry, Sharon Davis, the former British Olympic swimmer, detailing bit by bit by bit every way in which men have a physical advantage over women when it comes to physical competition and by the way you don't need to be a scientist you just need to have a brain look around to know that there is a physical difference between men and women uh, as for why more women don't stand up look first of all i think we should acknowledge there are many many very courageous women who have uh, spoken out about this mm. and i just mentioned sharon davis but i could give you a list as long as my arm but i do actually agree Riley with Gaines, you and i'm not jk rowling yes of course I generally don't uh, buy into the sort of allegations that men and women are treated differently in lots of different fields. But I do think actually on this issue, uh, it is true. Women, I think, are perceived as being slightly more vulnerable. And the very hateful, bigoted trans activists that go after people, especially online, uh, they do seem to target the women more. So I think it's actually on the men in, and the women in this case, but particularly on the men to stand up and lead in saying this is completely ridiculous and it needs to end. OK, Ava, my question for you. When was the last time a trans man competed against biological men and beat them? I just don't think that we would have that level of introspection. It's probably that journalists aren't trying to hunt out that story because they don't think it's going to make headline news. Look, no, you know, no, at the moment, no, 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 Ava, Ava, it hasn't happened. That's why no one's written about okay, it. Okay, look, at the moment, no one writes about currently, okay. trans men winning against men because they don't beat them. Piers, at the moment, we are currently, you know, we're currently witnessing the trial of Brianna Gay, who was, you know, a young trans girl who, you know, sadly lost her life. And, you know, we'll, we'll have to see what comes out mm. of the court. I can't say too much more on it. But also, you know, a colleague of mine just returned from a, tr a, a young trans boy who'd taken his own life. The way that we are treating trans people in this country is disgusting. There are such a small proportion yeah, of them. And I don't okay. understand well, hang on. This, this hang why on. we won't leave them alone. Ava. Yeah, but one of the reasons why trans people are getting a hard time is because of this ridiculous defence of the indefensible over the issue of trans athletes in women's sport. It makes an absolute mockery of all trans people. I know trans people who wish this would all just go away, that trans people would stop trying to fight at this ridiculous altar of unfairness are and they? battle for their own are fairness they? and equality. Because I think yes, what they are. No, yes, I they think are. what they're fighting for is just to be recognised and just to be left alone. You know, I, it doesn't need to be this headline, media, speculation, insanity all the time. If perhaps the media showed some care for them every other day of the year, then maybe we could have a sensible conversation about sport. Maybe I could, you know, start talking to you normally about perhaps what is going on, you know, with the cycling. But frankly, I don't really care when I know that trans people are taking their own lives every single day. What about the women who are competing okay. in these sports and who are not getting an opportunity we've, to compete fairly? We've Surely run out of time, guys. For them. Constantine, I've loved having you back. Please come back again soon. Ava, always good to have you. We'll agree to disagree.